Hello everyone, it's Mike Levin. Uh, Friday, January 15th at about 4.30 p.m. Uh, I get to head out a little early today, but first I actually wanted to demonstrate something cool I'm doing here with the Microsoft Surface. So the Surface is connected to a docking station back here. I almost did an unboxing video for the docking station, but it was a little less than, uh, I guess, impressive, but it's doing everything it's intended to. You simply plug this cable in here, and then the display settings can let you bring other monitors alive. And so I'm driving three screens with virtual screens off of this humble little, you know, entry-level uh, i5 Microsoft Surface Pro 4. And I wanted to point out the one strange rough edge that I've still found on the amazing Windows 10. So I am going to load PowerPoint by clicking on this icon right here. And it's coming up in one of the extended windows looking uh, basically correct and very usable in that way. Now if you lift it off using that wonderful snapping stuff, Windows 10 is just fabulous for anyone who's still on the fence. Uh, Windows has become cool again because of this device and because of this OS. Anyway, I'm going to bring it over here and you're going to see, see how tiny that's become? It's because the DPI of the native surface screen is different than the DPI from these older Dell monitors. And when you drag things between them and you pop PowerPoint back to its full size, look how small the... Uh, the navigation stuff there is. If I make a, a new deck, first of all it's even hard to read that stuff, but look how tiny the text is there. And there's very little way I can find <clears throat> to solve that problem. It seems to me that to get this resolution back you have to go display settings, you'd have to uh, disconnect your external monitors, which I'll actually do here. Disconnect. Did I get them both? Disconnect. Apply. It's going to turn these two off. This remains on. We'll keep those changes. And that is the very unreasonable, but... Oh, look how small that is still. How can that be? Let's just yank this off. It usually flashes going through some sort of recalibration. The pointer has frozen, well, naturally, because that's coming through the hub. But now let me load PowerPoint. Still tiny. Well, when DPI changes occur, the Windows messages usually tell you it requires a logout. So let's sign out. And look at the lengths I'm going to. I turned these off. I pulled off the docking cord. And now I'm logging out and back in. Let's see. We'll do this again. Going through a ridiculously long wait. just a log out and log in. So as much as people really love to sing the praises of the Surface Pro 4 and Windows 10, especially the combination of the two as Microsoft's, you know, miraculous comeback, uh, I am here to say that there are rough edges. And admittedly, that's all they are. They're rough edges. You could see that did a little DPI pop and it's back to the way it's supposed to be if you picked something here. Now, uh, back is our oh, PowerPoint stopped working. The world is not a perfect place, but there you have it. Uh, the at least the user interface stuff is back to the size that it's supposed to be in terms of uh, DPI. So if you have a multiple monitor setup, uh, which in so many ways uh, this stuff handles uh, well. There are still these nuances uh, surrounding what uh, is increasingly called uh, the DPI of the monitor because uh, Microsoft made a big deal 
that they chose just the right DPI to make sure that you have the perfect tablet experience so that you can't see pixels, uh, so that software looks and works best. But uh, when you're using it in an office environment, hooking up external monitors and such, and you're getting these, these multiple monitors that are about to show up here, I'll keep changes, there are in fact very serious DPI popping around issues. Sometimes it's done well, such that when it identifies the monitor that it's supposed to be on, such as in this case with uh, the display, it pops to the correct DPI. But not all software works quite so elegantly. I guess they had to get it right on the system software, but even things like PowerPoint, which is from Microsoft themselves, is not getting it right. So there you have it. Uh, this is a hands-on uh, review of, uh, I guess, Windows 10 and one of the tiny little rough edges that Microsoft still has to smooth out to uh, merit this, uh, this you know, otherwise justifiably earned reputation as you know, Microsoft's great comeback. <clears throat> anyway, thanks for joining me. Hope to talk to you soon. And don't forget to subscribe.